Good morning, folks. Our focus pulls to the sun today as eruptive activity has surged to life just behind the eastern limb. We'll hit weather and cosmology as well in a moment, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star with a calm Earth-facing half housing a large coronal hole, but then tight CMEs pounding off the left side into space, three months behind our orbit as this satellite looks from Earth, so the CMEs will not directly hit. But their electric coupling potential is strong the next three days, despite the smaller CME size. And while the solar wind is continuing to drop intensity, we'll be looking forward to the stream from the coronal hole arriving later this coming week. But before that, it does connect to Earth while the CME coupling is expected to occur, and we are entering excess magnitude risk territory, including for magnitude 7 quakes. We will be updating the solar conditions as necessary, but right now we're going to the universe. In this data-driven simulation, the yellow is the galaxies and the purple is supposed to be dark matter. Observers, you can substitute the covert matter, dust, and hidden charge if you like there. Same basic action on the small scale. The evolution over time is detailed as well and they claim it matches the real observations of the cosmos. This is expected as long as something exists in those voids, and whether they use their dark matter or you use covert matter, the initial conditions, evolution, and current state of the large-scale structure is not expected to be much different, especially if there is no modification to gravity like MOND or scalar tensor theories. Let's do a full-time run of the Northern Americas here. As we saw last night, it is just one storm after another rolling across the continent. There's even one more day's forecast available from what we showed you last night. There is no question that the severe threats of April are here, and they're flanked by more snowstorms on the north and northwest sides. This extra day also allows us to see what was the last system we saw last night descending into the Gulf states as yet another storm is visible beginning to drop snow on the Rockies. You've got the rest of your wind maps across the world and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.